Hi, this is Vincent Laporta for Expert Village. Now that we already cut out our face, the, the smaller of the detail, now we can cut out the larger areas on our pumpkin without any danger of us pushing the whole pattern right through the pumpkin. So, start with our pumpkin, use our big blade, and keep a nice up and down motion, and we're just going to start carving. When you get to the hand or the detail of it, that's when you just go a little bit slow because there is a, there is, a, there is curves for the hand. I like to put the pumpkin on my lap so I have more control of it and I'm able to turn it around and do what I have to do for these cuts because some of them are a little bit intricate. Now this is when we start having to turn it, so just be careful and let the saw do the work and you just go with the up and down so that you don't twist the blade because this is th these are the cuts that break the blades. And don't be afraid if you have to take it out to redirect it. Okay, here's our first piece. And you can see that our ghost is starting to take shape. When I cut out a couple more, you'll see the whole thing together. So, I'll cut the other side off. Don't be afraid to use the pattern as a reference if you can't see the dots. Or you could use a ballpoint pen if you wanted to trace the dots, which is another technique. But then you have to clean up the pen afterwards. So the flower is good because it's, it, it doesn't leave a stain and you can just pull it right out. Erase it right off and you don't have to scrub it down. 